Hey, today I received my S25, Samsung S25 Ultra. And now I'm trying to transfer everything from my S24. But I got stuck with a major issue, right? And I'm going to show you why. So right now I'm going to go to my messages. Um, I'm going to make this my default message which is, it doesn't matter. I got multiple messages, but you can see I got hundreds, probably thousands of messages. I don't delete none of my messages. I keep all of them. But here's my problem, right? So we're gonna go right into this. So there's a smart sync, right? Right here. The smart switch, actually. This supposed to let you transfer data from one phone to the other, right? So initially I did everything, right? But I noticed that my messages didn't come across. So I'm going to custom. And when I look at custom, right? I'm just going to scroll down, scroll down. Look at messages. That's my messages right there. It says none. So now... I kind of think I know what the problem is. It's because of the Samsung messages versus the Google messages, right? So if you search for messages right here, you're going to see first one is the Google Messenger and the second one is the Samsung Messenger, right? So I had a Samsung Messenger disabled. I just enabled it right now. So because I enabled it, I'm going to say continue with Samsung messages and I'm going to make it the default. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I want all my messages to come across to this phone, right? So I'm hoping that now when I try to do this transfer again, that messages are available so they could come across. This is a major issue. Otherwise, I have to figure out another way to solve this problem. So I just exit the smart sync. And just to show you guys, there's my message. Nothing came across at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And by the way, the new S25 does not come with Samsung messages, right? So I'm going to just actually, I'm just going to search for messages. And as you can see, does not come with uh, old Samsung. So they literally got rid of it. And now Google Messenger messages, it's all you have. So now we're going to go back to the whole smart switch. I'm just going to type smart switch. We're going to fire it up and I'm going to say receive data on this phone. And it's going to come from Galaxy device and we're going to use the cable. So I actually have a cable plugged in between so that the transfer is quicker. Right now we're going to let it connect and detect uh, everything. Let me just uh, make sure that Smart Sync is also running on this side. So right here, Smart Sync. I'm gonna say okay. Let's fire it up. Yep. So I'm gonna say send from this phone. So S24 using the cable. It's gonna go right over. Connect. Nice. Now that it's connecting. Look at that. It's scanning and it's looking for data. So we're going to give it some, some time and let it find the data. But because it's using the cable, it's usually a little quicker. Yeah, look how fast that was. Now I'm going to go to custom and I want to find my messages. Oh, look at that. You see that? So now I got five gig worth of messages and that's what you want. So if you're having the same problem, right, you're enabled to get your messages. That's what you have to do. Otherwise, you're not getting your messages at all. So now I'm going to say transfer. I want all my messages to come across. Let's keep the screen on. So guys, this is the solution to get your messages across in case you did what I did and I disable the standard Samsung messages that comes on this phone and you kept the Google only. It will not transfer over. So there you go. It's giving me about 16 minutes. This cable mix is super fast. It may uh, go down to a few minutes, but look, it's moving fast. Okay, it's almost done. It says one minute left. 
literally uh i felt like it took about two minutes yeah the whole thing about took about two minutes and by the way this cable here is just not any cable this is one of those thunderbolts four cable so yeah thunderbolt four cable i use this on my mac and it transfers files from one mac to the other super super quick so i'm using the same thing on the phone just so i could get things transferred quickly okay it has completed i'm gonna say done and we're gonna say go home and now i'm gonna take a look at my message my message hasn't showed up yet but here's what you do scroll down or bring that down and you want to take a look at your smart switch so look it's still going um it's not even it's a little bit past half it's saying eight hours it's not going to take eight hours it's going to be quicker but just want to let you know in case you are wondering what it's it doing all you got to do is bring that down and you're going to see it it's still doing its thing so we're going to let it go once that is completed, then I'm going to take a look at the messages. Okay, I just got a notification that it has completed. So right there, data transfer completed. All my message, look at that. 192,000 messages. That's how many messages I have saved. I mean, you know, I keep everything, like I said. Anyway, so next, uh, I just said all set. Uh, yeah, let me just say done and then open messages. There you go. Now I got everything, guys. So that is the fix if you have the same problem.